As we go into the fall, fertility management is very important based on the individual species that we're dealing with. Our cool season species really need a little shot of nitrogen in September and October timeframe as they're beginning to uh, get ready for the winter. That sets tillers to come out the next spring and allows us to have a much healthier crop coming out in the next spring. Our warm season species really benefit from potassium applications late in the season. Yeah, we need a little bit of nitrogen there, but it's also important for the potassium levels to be high enough to support carbohydrate storage so that it winters well in our environment. It's really crucial that we get enough carbohydrate reserves and nitrogen reserves down into the plant so that when it comes out next spring, that it's very vigorous and actively growing. Keeping up with fertility is extremely important and there's really two strategies for doing that. I like to pick a time of the year that I always take a soil sample from and usually it's good to do that in the spring. Normally you've got enough moisture in the ground to be able to get a soil probe in the ground. It's really important to always take that soil sample at the same time of the year every year. The reason for that is, is that you have some seasonal variability and as long as you're doing it at the same time, you're always comparing apples to apples. Soil sampling can be aided by looking at a plant tissue analysis as well. A plant tissue analysis looks at the mineral content and the balance of a lot of those nutrients and tells us if something is out of balance with one another. If something is out of balance, if we've taken that plant tissue analysis midway through the season, we have enough time then to address that issue before the rest of the season has gone on. The ideal time to take a plant tissue analysis is kind of midway through the season, June or July, somewhere in that neighborhood, about a week before that cutting. And if you go out across the field and take 20 or 30 samples of the top six inches, you get a good sense of what that plant is effectively seeing and extracting out of the soil. I like to use the analogy of soil sampling and plant tissue analysis of the soil sample is sort of like checking the oil in your engine and the plant tissue analysis is sort of like checking the pressure gauge of your oil moving through that engine. It gives you a sense of what that plant is effectively seeing as well as making sure you do have enough nutrients there to meet the plant's needs. The timing of when we take our last cutting of the year is also very crucial as well. If we harvest that crop and it has a chance to grow back a little bit before it goes into the winter dormancy, it may actually have used up some of its carbohydrate reserves, tapped into its savings account, if you will. So what we may end up doing is making that plant a lot weaker as it comes out in the spring. We want that plant going into the winter, packing as much carbohydrates in there as possible. So sometimes it is best to wait until later in the season, until a first frost or it's starting to go dormant to actually begin that last harvest. The cutting height that we leave out there can also be important for us as well. In the southeast, we're not as worried about winter injury or winter kill as we might be in some areas of the U.S., but we are concerned in making sure that we're not uh, harvesting away some of the carbohydrate reserves. For example, with Bermuda grass, a lot of our carbohydrate reserves are in the runners of that plant. So if we cut that too short, we may be removing some of our savings account out of that crop. It's really enjoyable to be part of a team that has an opportunity to really help on a day-to-day -day basis what goes on on many of these farm operations. Growing up on a farm, I know how difficult it is and how many long hours, how much work goes into what they're doing. And so in some small way to be able to add back to that is really what helps us uh, keep motivated. It's really a, a labor of love. It really is something that we have a lot of uh, missionary zeal for to try to make sure that we are helping out our, our farmers and helping them feed the world. 
We're really excited to once again be able to partner with Massey Ferguson in our Southeast Hay Contest and to be able to provide a really great set of prizes for the overall champion, whether it be the use of the disc mower or rotary rake or even the, the cash prizes. We're really hoping that that will give you an opportunity to really prove that your hay is the best in the Southeast.